Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I am playing the Kickstarter demo of Magic Lost, which describes itself as an adorably cute, fiendishly clever point-and-click adventure, and those are adjectives I'm really excited about. Um, so let's just get into it. The art is, so far on this title screen, really awesome. Nice hand-drawn, cool, colorful, etc. New. So this really jumps you into it. So we've got um, a gate, a monster, this, uh, there's controls in the menu. To lock and unlock the action bar, space to skip dialogue, which I'm not going to do. Click to use or right click to examine. Okay. Oh, that hides it. Cool. Okay. Monster. I'll defeat this foul creature or die trying. Okay. Oh, it's locked. I can't just force it open. Okay. Can I look at me? No. Okay, I have Conjure Coconut. I guess that's a spell. Turn Coconut to Ancient Relic Key thing. I suppose that's a spell too. And Banish Monster. I think I know what I'm supposed to happen. What I'm supposed to do here. Conjure Coconut. Come forth, Coconut! <laughs> well, maybe I could bonk him with this. Nah, he would probably just eat it. All right, turn coconut into ancient relic key thing. Coconut to ancient relic key thing. Nice. All right. Oh, I didn't get to look at the key. I should have right clicked on. It. Oh, that's that what this is. That is blocking the portal. I need to find a way to open it. That's a good way to say that. So, with an arrow and an eye, you can right click to view it, or you can left click to to interact with it. Now banish monster. I need to open the gate first so I can banish the monster into another dimension. All right. Ancient relic key thing on gate. The gate to the other dimension is now open. Oh, it's a portal to another dimension. Can I I I guess I should banish the monster before I try to go in the portal. Should I try to No, cuz then the monster will be in the portal. Can I go no in the way portal? Am I going through there? Well, my stuff is in this dimension. All right. Banish monster. Away with you, fiend! What are you doing? Put me down. <laughs> Piper, this isn't funny. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. No. Okay. Silly monster. What am I doing at home? Was all of that a dream? I should make a note in my diary. Help! Piper, get me out of here this instant. I'm so sorry. Come on, I'll get you out of there. <laughs> I guess the portal to another dimension wasn't... Oh, there's no way I can open it. It's too badly warped. I'll need some kind of potion to fix it. I guess that's what the, the open portal or the unlock gate spell did. Wow, talk about twisted. I have to learn to control my magic better. Okay, oh, there's all these things in this room. Bed? Oh, it looks so comfy right now. <laughs> just go to bed and leave this person Maybe in the wardrobe? just a quick nap. On second thought, I might just create more chaos if I went back to sleep. Oh, there's no way I can open it. It's too badly warped. I'll need some kind of... Okay, nightstand. That's where I keep my valuables. Okay. That sounds useful. I can't open it. It's locked. I think I put the key in one of my potted plants downstairs. I'm just not sure which one. Ah, okay. Notes. Here's a recipe for fire blossom stew. Put fire blossom in the pot, heat with red flame until simmering, mix it up, and baby, you got a stew going. These are all just notes, right? They're Here's not different notes? Put... Okay. Fire blossom? red flower. Sure, I'll take that. Journal, ma okay, journal. Oh, there's all this, oh, there's so much journal. Now, I can't read in her voice, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm just going to be me, because I want to, they, they wrote these, they're probably worth reading. I love it here, just the right amount of sun and shade. I'm going to go fast. Perfect place for me to put down roots and see if I can grow. It's a little intimidating living so close to Capital City, but nice living in a place where people aren't so afraid of magic users. Monthish. Later. My cat's finally getting just to his new surroundings. I hope I see a cat. Chekhov's cat. 
I think he likes it more than he lets on. He can be a real diva sometimes, but I don't know what I would do without him. That's a cat for you. There's this one old man, Bertrand, who comes to the marketplace every day. His hands are weathered and marked like the hands of a spellcaster. He's always glancing at me inquisitively. It's unsettling. He's very kind, though. I don't know what he wants. I was using my magic to make some leaves swirl today, and he was watching with wide eyes. There was an assault on the port city of Lanesbridge last night. That's not here, right? I don't know. I hate war. It scares me. When I get scared, I get angry. Angry at the world for being so stupid and greedy, and angry at myself for being so weak. The people in this area, most of them don't even care about it. They think they're safe here, but they're not. Erlen says you should only worry about what you can control. Maybe she's right. She doesn't know what it's like. How could she? They're saying the Lanesbridge was an isolated incident, a trade dispute that got out of hand. I really don't know what to believe. I guess there's not much I can do about it anyway. Erlen says people here aren't, aren't just being complacent. She says the queen is a benevolent leader and has a reputation as a keeper of the peace. Oh, there's a bunch more pages. I'm still having a lot of trouble controlling my magic. It's so frustrating. Even doing a simple exercise like making a pot of water boil, I ended up with a hole in the ceiling, a ruined gardenia plant, and a very frightened cat. I saw the queen today. Everyone in town square was stopped what they were doing as she passed through. She has an undeniable presence about her. She glanced at me just briefly. There was something about her eyes, deep, dark, yet brilliant like onyx gems. The way she looked at me, if only for a moment, was like she saw something special. It reminded me of old man Bertrand. Maybe it was just my imagination. She probably makes everyone feel that way. The queen is a magic user. Eight straight days of rain. I had to bring a lot of my plants outside. One thing I still haven't gotten used to is the chaotic weather in this area. Last night I had a dream that the capital city was under attack, but it wasn't scary. I felt powerful. I felt like I was in complete control of my magic. The queen and I were side by side fighting off bad guys. Yes, there we go. She said my power would be a great service to the people. Unbelievable. Right after I had that dream, the queen visited my stall today. Whoa. She bought some medicinal herbs and paid me three times the price. She shook my hand and went on her way. Her gloves were so soft and elegant. There are flyers everywhere for the upcoming fall festival. Nice. I hope they have funnel cakes. All the spellcasters are invited to showcase their talents at the Fish Fry Magic Off. Outstanding participants will receive a tour of the Queen's Palace. That might be fun. I feel this building. Hailstones! For the past three days, it's been hot enough to fry an egg on my face. And now this? I just have to learn to expect the unexpected around here. The fall festival is tomorrow. My cat says he's not going because he doesn't want to be anywhere nearby if I'm going to be using my magic. Thanks a lot. Can't blame him, though. He's still upset after I accidentally turned him into an emu for the day. Well, I gave it my best shot. The raven I summoned flew through five rings like a champ until that mean little girl looked at him the wrong way. I couldn't boil the pot of tar. I couldn't even make it simmer. I had no idea how the tent got on fire. They acted like it was my fault. One of the royal guard invited me to participate in the pie-eating contest, but I was tired and ready to come home. Well, I guess it did better than I thought. Today I got an invitation to the tour of the palace on October 1st. Erlen says they must have made a mistake. Too bad. Go, Piper. Go, Piper. Woohoo! I'm Piper, I guess. Last night I had a dream that my house was surrounded by this darkness. It was cold and malevolent. The darkness lurched into my home, quickly filling it. I used my magic left and right, trying to fight it off, but it chased me up the stairs. But instead of my bedroom, I was floating alone in this astral plane. The darkness coalesced into this scary monster, which is probably where I started. But I dealt with him. No problem. Banished that sucker into another dimension. That's when I woke up. Whew. So, in summary, that was six months ago. I moved here. Sounds like England. With the queen and the, the weather. Um... A funny cat who can talk, as we learn later. She met a spellcaster in the marketplace. There was an assault on a city. She had a dream that she was fighting off bad guys with the queen using magic, which is pretty cool. Um, the queen, there's a contest. Oh, the queen visited her after that dream. Then there was a contest, a magic off contest. Um, and she won and gets to tour the palace. And now this. So that's where we're at if you, you skipped that. All right. So I guess I gotta make a potion. Some kind. Oh, I forgot to look at my notes. Wait. Notes. I need a warp wood potion to fix the wardrobe and rescue my cat. Oh, that's who that is. I think I have a recipe around here somewhere. The key to my nightstand is in one of the potted places downstairs. Okay. Here's a recipe. That's fire blossom stew. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. One more thing. Magic? What do I have? I, I just, I just magic things. Magic! Let me see if oh, I geez. can do that. Magic! Whew! Oh, boy. All right, so I'm not very good at all. Well, I'm going to magic everything, though. With my magical... I'm going to magic everything. All right, maybe not. 
inventory, fire blossom. Those are cute. And the menu. Okay, cool. All right, let's go downstairs. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, swirling plants. I'm getting dizzy swirling books. Just watching them. Can I... I must have created this violent book tornado with my sleep magic. There's no way I'm sticking my hand in there. All right, should I try magicking it? Magic! I love that she just yells magic. That is so good. I guess so I can only good. get one book at a time that way. How to avoid getting water and thrown on you. That's not the book I need. That's not the book I need. All right. Magic! Magic! Witch Hiker's Guide to That's the Galaxy. The awesome. Magic! Warts and all, a modern skill Bellcaster's Guide to Skincare. Magic. Nice. Kill everyone! Thousand and four party That's jokes. <laughs> Thank I I really I genuinely love this point and click adventure game making me Magic! go through a pun gauntlet to get where I'm going. <laughs> I had to I had to deal with all of those pun books them. before I got to the thing I wanted and there was I had no choice. Alright. That was really funny. That's cheese. That's he the doll. Out for me down here and makes me laugh with his jokes. Alright. Plant. Let's check for the key. Nope. No key here. Some mighty fine dirt, though. There's another plant. There it is. Yes! The key to my nightstand. Alright. What else can I do? Sit at the desk? No, let's just walk. Uh, notes. It's a spell I'm working on to turn gold into spiders. Why? Why not the other way? Okay. It's a cute little statue. This is a unicorn. Something on its horn. Kind of looks like a unicorn moose. There's a slip of paper on his horn with a recipe on it. Oh. Warp wood potion. Nice. A good looking plant based potion with a kick. That's uh, pretty vague for a recipe. I'll see what I can do. Okay, cool. Uh, did I get that in my notes? A good looking plant based potion with a kick. So that's probably. So I got. In my inventory, I have, or to Tome of Alchemy, which probably has, well, I'll figure that out when I get to it, but I'm probably going to have to look up a, a recipe, and that recipe is probably, like, a pun or some similar, like, that's a clue. can't leave until I get my cat out of the wardrobe. Which is pretty great. I love that. That's so, like, classic point-and-click adventure. A staring contest with a jar of eyes? You have to pick your battles, Piper. <laughs> that you have, like, it's almost like a riddle that you have to solve. Those are great for it's cooking, really clever. But useless for magic potions. Okay, cauldron, yeah. Perfect for making potions or having friends for dinner. So if I. Yeah, here's the cauldron, and now I can. Leafy, fiery leafy plant burns at, mm, simmers at, mm, for mm, that's seconds. That's pretty red flower. So, oh, that's really cool. Wait, do I get to turn, oh, wow. Red flame, green flame. That's There's really cool. Mix. mix. This has the promise to be a really cool crafting system. Fire, those are kind of like, fiery leafy plant are like categories and the right are attributes of it. If you have to make potion, like cook them based on the temperature, that's real, like that kind of stuff, that, that could be really, really cool. What's in the cabinet? Oh my God, that was a ghost pepper. Oh, and here's the teapot. That's really cute. Thing to throw in there. Oh, wait, no, don't go upstairs. Snapdragon. Magic must have turned this Snapdragon into the real thing. I need to find a way to calm it down. I wonder if this is an ingredient. Probably. I'm gonna magic that. I need to find a safer way to settle him down. We're not. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's check out the nightstand. And it's open. What's in here? The a other boot. one got away. Just a boot? Okay. Um, this is it for my room, right? And I couldn't take any of this stuff. 
All right, so what do I journal? Nothing new in here. Notes. Recipe is a good-looking plant-based potion. Good-looking is interesting. The other one got away. Plant-based potion with Ooh, a kick? scary how hot these things are. Because this is the... Oh, that, I love that ghost pepper. That's so cute. Uh, maybe the boot is good-looking. This is a plant and this is a potion? That could be... That could explain it. Oh, it's really cool how this is split into, like, backpack and alchemy. I like that. All right, let's try to throw that stuff in the cauldron and see what happens. That seems like it would make sense. Good looking, or yeah, good looking, I guess is. Oh, good looking eyes. Staring contest with a jar of eyes. Oh, you have to pick your battles, Piper. Can I just take one? I right clicked it. There we go. All right, so good looking. Gooey living tissue looks good. Perfect. A plant based. With a kick. Has a kick. Ooh, it's scary how hot these things are. That's really good. So the recipe was... The recipe was... A good-looking plant-based potion with a kick. It doesn't say what temperature, but the other thing said red flame, so I'm going to use a red flame. Because the other potion was red flame. A good-looking plant-based potion with a good looking add ingredients while the oh. fire is turned on okay good looking plant-based potion with a kick so this is a good looking plant-based kick all of the ingredients need to be simmering at the same time before I can mix them properly oh they have to be simmering and I don't know what temperature any of these simmer at so let me put in some eyes Now there's oh. oh looks like I burned one of the ingredients. Okay. Burns at red. Whoa. This is really cool. That one simmers at green. Okay, so now I know burns at red, simmers at green for six seconds. The fire blossom. This is really, really cool. Alright, simmers at red. So I guess that burns at green. Simmers at red for three seconds. This is simmers at green for six seconds. And this one... I guess red wasn't hot enough. Can I do both? Yellow. Whoops. Oh, looks like I burned one of the ingredients. Interesting. Burns at yellow. What about if I do red f first and then green? What happened? I wonder how I. Whoops! Huh. It looks like I burned one of the ingredients. Burns at. Oh, it's scary how hot these things are. What if I do both of them at the same time? Whoops. No, it still burns it. Oh, looks like I burned one of the ingredients. Hmm. What if I All of the ingredients need to be simmering at the same time? Okay. What if I try to mix it while it's here? All of the ingredients need All of So this one simmers at red, this one burns at red. So let me put in this one. Simmer it at green. Hmm. This mixture doesn't okay. seem to have it. <laughs> this one doesn't burn. This one burns at red. So I should put this in at red. Simmer this. Then turn the red off and turn the green on. I let one of the ingredients simmer for too long. Oh, How wow. Oh, what about the boot? I have to test the boot, too. I wonder if the boot and the pepper will do anything together. Oh, is that 
Simmer's at green for 11 seconds. Alright, so let me try that. I'll do this. And then turn it off. No. This was... I, the, they're turning it off was a coincidence. Okay. So, this doesn't burn. So, if I... Put this on red. And then I put... want to add ingredients while the fire is... I let one of the ingredients... Oh, wow. ...for too long. Now it's inert. This is really particular. Oh, what if I put in the ghost pepper first? Put it on red. Want to add ingredients while the fire is turned on? All right. I don't want to add ingredients while the fire. Okay, so simmer this at red. Turn on that. I let one of the ingredients simmer for too long. Now it's inert. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. I'm not exactly sure the order I'm supposed to do things, but I think this is really interesting. One thing I want to try, the I just I remembered the the fire blossom stew recipe. We have to there has to be a reason that it tells us that. Maybe it's the red flame in the simmer, but I want to try to make that. So fire blossom, heated red flame until simmering. Turn it off and mix Come. it up. Fire blossom stew, just like my grandma used to eat. All right. So I've got fire blossom stew. Now I'm thinking that the snapdragon needs, you know, I need to calm the snapdragon. So let me see if he likes the stew. Here you go, little he buddy. He sure Get does. Up. That settled him down. Now, if I can find a way to put him to sleep, the magic should wear off. I think there's a book about dragons upstairs in the small bookcase. Maybe that will help. There we go. All right. Dragons upstairs in the bookcase. Dragon book? The complete set has over 9,000 pages. V uh, volume 26. Perfect. Oh, there's no way. All right, what does the dragon book say? The complete And I can just use it. So let me maybe just use it on him on the dragon and see what the see what that says. Oh, there's a section Perfect. here about dragon lullabies. Well, it's worth a try. <laughs> wow. That is a dragon lullaby if I ever heard one. Perfect. Oh, there he goes. These things look like skulls when they dry out. Creepy. Can I take him now? Yeah. And he's an alchemy ingredient, I bet. Yeah. Like All right. Now let's see what he. Let's experiment with a Snapdragon. Hint of death, oily plant. Oh, so maybe this is a plant, but this they don't go together. Like this and this are not compatible because of their simmering and burning times. Right. Like this one will go out before this one is ever ready. Like most of the time. So that's interesting. Oh, he simmers at yellow. Hmm. Interesting. In three seconds, though. These things look like so plant-based with a kick. So what if I put in the ghost pepper at yellow? Oh wait, the snapdragon burns Whoops. at yellow. Whoa, the oh, ghost pepper. Like oh yeah, 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 I knew that. With the Snapdragon, so, oh yeah, it simmers at yellow, so it probably can't burn. I'm just gonna, I tried it at red. Okay, so it can't burn. That's useful to know. So if I put in the Snapdragon, and then at yellow, and then turn it down. Hmm. Oh, this only needs to be at yellow for three seconds. So I could put all three of these in, do this until that's full. Neither of those will burn. Turn it to yellow until this one 
and then mix them. Oh no, the ghost pepper burns a yellow. I let one of uh, All right. All right, now I'm going to now I'm going to stop and think about this. Guys, the boot has a kick cuz it's a boot. Video games. Oh my god. So I can't simmer the ghost pepper. That's why Oh man. All right, so now this makes sense. Do these at green? And then turn Oh wait. Let's try this now. Do these in green? Oh, this needs to be for 11 seconds, though. Hmm. This is interesting. If I do this and then turn it off before it simmers. Alright. No, don't talk. Turn it to green. It doesn't re... Oh! Can I mix and then add more? Because that would, that would totally solve all of these problems. Now, when you mix it... Okay. 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 What do these do together? Hmm. This mixture doesn't seem... Oh, it's not that they take that long. It's that they last that long. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. All right. I got it. I got it. I was trying to make this too complicated by, like... I was trying to put these in... And then, like, real quick, shut it off... And then put this one in and turn it on. And then, like, hurry up and click the mix as soon as it's ready. I made warp oh, it worked! <laughs> I need to take this upstairs and rescue my poor cat. It worked this time. All right. That what I'm supposed to do is put all three of these together. Because this doesn't burn it green. And then turn it on, and now it'll work. The brew was a success. But yeah, my rush. I I tried like like three times and I couldn't get it. All right, whatever, whatever. It works either way. It works either way. Uh, warp wood potion on the wardrobe. Oh, I really hope this works. How do you use a potion on a wardrobe? They're oh, not going to answer that I question. You, <laughs> Just throw in splash. Okay? Huh. I suppose I will be after, say, a week of pampering. It's a deal, but for now we. It does sound get a lot going. more like a cat than a demon. Hello, cat. It's fixed! Alright, can I do anything with the wardrobe? Can I do anything with the cat? No. Uh, journal? I rescued my cat! Now I need to get going. Alright, let's head outside. I think the other way would have been faster. Oh, what a day. And it's just getting started. Are you ready to go with me? Let's get one thing straight, my dear. I am a cat. I do not pull levers. I do not push buttons, and under no circumstances will I fetch items. However, <laughs> if you would like a companion on your journey, Piper, I will go with you anywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. This could be a great adventure, but I can't do it without you. Without Piper or without me? And without your future Kickstarter backers, everyone? It feels like the end of the demo. Sure was. So, if that looked fun, which it should have because it was, um, check them out on Kickstarter. Like I said, it's running until November 2nd. Um, as always, there'll be a link in the description. Um, Point-and-click adventure games are my favorite. Silly point-and-click adventure games, double favorite. So, big fan. Um, so thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.